Good morning, guys. Yesterday, we made it as far as Shimane Prefecture, which is the final prefecture of our entire journey. But the adventures still go on because we have to make it to the Oki Islands. To get there, we need our kayak. And we're gonna launch the kayak from a place called Tako Minato, which translates as the Octopus Harbor. To launch the kayak, the team need to make their way to Shimane's most northern point on the Sea of Japan coastline. So this is a uh, taco harbor, huh? How do you do? Where's all the octopus? Local fishermen repair their nets in the sunshine. Crabs, sardines, oysters, sea bream, and squid are all caught here and eaten throughout Japan. Um, see that big rock out there? That one there? Yeah. yeah. 40 kilometers further than that, and there's an island out there. We're going all the way out there? Yeah. There's nothing to see, there's nothing there. It's a crazy mission. I'm excited, but I'm, I'm nervous. Let's, let's say prayer, sure. No one comes to Shimani without going to Izumo. Izumo. Izumo Taisha. The team head to Izumo Taisha, believed to be the oldest shrine in all of Japan. Unique to only Izumo, visitors clap their hands four times instead of the usual two claps associated with prayer. And then it, this temple is kind of famous for being the kind of the chance place to uh, f formulate meeting somebody. It's very soon, by chance, I will meet some lovely girl, maybe maybe a few. And uh, couldn't help but notice these uh, lovely ladies here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll keep looking for love, but it was nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sometimes the language of love is difficult. You know? Two claps are performed for yourself, and two are intended for your partner or desired partner. Where is my woman? Here she is. Can I have a hug? Yeah. <laughs> I want a hug. It's, it's incredible. I clap, I clap for times and then... What's, what's, your, what's your name? Yasuko. Yasuko. And then Yasuko came. Yasuko. 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 Hi. Yasuko. Yasuko. Are, you, are you from Shimane? No, no. Hiroshima. Right, this one is the name. At 24 meters high, the main hall is the tallest shrine building in Japan. Rabbit statues surround the complex and the famous myth of the hair of Inaba and how one rabbit aids the god Okuni Nuchi to win the love of Princess Yakami can be heard all over this region. Nearby the shrine, the team are introduced to Izumo Soba. So we've made it to Izumo and we're at a place called Izumo Bunker Denshokan. And the reason is we've been asked to meet here by a local kayaking expert who's gonna give us tips for tomorrow. He's also gonna introduce us to the local soba. So before we do that, let's wash our hands from the Dragon Fountain. Wow, it's wow, pretty powerful. May I ask you, are you hungry? Yes, sir. All right. No. <laughs> Always hungry. <laughs> Straight away, we get to try the local delicacy, so the soba, and, and they've assured me that this soba is nothing like the soba that you might get in uh, Tokyo or anywhere else. Izumo soba can be eaten warigo style in three tiered bowls, or simply kamaage style with ingredients added to a single bowl. We need a good slurp. Mm. 
Lake Shinji, the seventh largest lake in Japan and the ending point for our travelers today. Wow, how fast the day goes by. It feels like just an hour ago that I was on my bike riding across to the Tako Harbor. And then of course we were at the oldest shrine in all of Japan. And now here we are at Lake Shinji, which happens to be one of the biggest lakes in all of Japan and quite a peaceful place to end our day. And I imagine the waters are somewhat more peaceful than we're gonna expect out there in the sea tomorrow. Coming up next, Duncan and Dean are in deep water. It's eyeball soup for lunch. And the journey ends at the remarkable Kuniga Coast. <laughs> 